I saw this and I just said I really wanted to talk about this because this is what it what it means when we talk about integrity. I mean, when we talk about system. It's, it's it's not it's not about the end result because I see a lot of people who focus on the father or oh, the end result. No, it's not about the end result. The process that brought you into must be clean. If the process is not clean, then what are you going to do? There's no how you will uh, taint yourself with evil, with bad things, and expect that at the end of the day you're going to do something uh, that it's right. So here I see this head like Pakistan politician gives up seat, says vote was rigged in his favor. He had won. He's the one that won the election. But he says, no, he's not going to take it because votes were rigged. Votes were really supposed to be rigged. Allow things, allow the process to be, allow things to go on. That's what it's supposed to be. Let the people's mandate count. For me, I don't care who anybody voted for because everybody has a right to vote for whoever they want to vote for. If you want to vote for Stone, vote for Stone. If you want to vote for Cow, vote for Cow. If it's on the ballot paper, if you can create your own and put it. If you want to vote for the most incompetent person, vote for the most incompetent person the right i have to vote for the most competent person is the right that you have to vote for the most incompetent person right is right but what what must be allowed is the mandate of the people let the people be the ones to have the final say don't rig election don't buy votes don't try to do anything on the hand do your campaign I mean, that's what a, a, a persuasion, persuade the people, tell them how good you are or how good your candidate is. Within those arena, use what is within the uh, ambit of the law, with, with things that are legitimate to campaign and talk to your people. Yes, do that. But when the process now starts, allow the process to be. Don't rig the process. Don't sabotage the process. Don't do anything. And then at the end of the day, whoever is voted for, let that person be. For me, the 2023 election, my issue, I don't have any issue with who came out as the, 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 the winner. Mine, as someone who had a candidate, I did all I needed to do. I campaigned for my candidate. I spoke up for my candidate. I was there for my candidate. And that's it. And I made sure that I protected my candidate. And that's it for me. I, I did. I don't have any regrets with the 2023 election. I don't have, oh, there was something I should have done. I shouldn't have done. No, I was on the campaign trail. I was moving up and down. I was doing videos to the extent when they talk, uh, the European Union put out their this thing, their report on their uh, the Nigerian election, my channel was flagged as the one that had the most highest views on candidate. There were other, I didn't have, I think I just had then 30 something of, uh, thousand subscribers. I didn't, there were people, there were some that had over a million subscribers, but I was pulling this thing more. I, I think I did, I was literally doing how many videos per day. Even me, when I saw the report, I was blown. I was like, how was I able to do these videos? And I was still on the one on the campaign trail, moving from place to place. Some days we went in four different cities in one day. We wake up, Some sometimes our journey is starting as early as 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Sometimes we don't go to bed till as late as, you know, sometimes, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., depending on how, you know, we get home on, on certain days. And yet I was doing this. So for me personally, I don't have anything. I don't have any regrets. So let the system be. And if, and I've said this thing before, and I'm going to say it again. If the 2023 election, there was no sabotage, there was no rigging, and Tinibu still came out as the president, then the people have spoken. Then we will say that that's what, that's the mandate of the people. The people wanted him. Me, I will just cross leg and say, Enjoy what you people have said you wanted. But in this case, that wasn't the case. He clearly did not win the election. The system was rigged, sabotage for him, and all sorts of magic done for him to go and win, uh, win, win that particular election. So that's where the problem, for me, that's where the problem uh, re really, really is. And that's why sometimes people, I don't even have enough energy to berate citizens and say, oh, see, you voted anyhow, because they really didn't vote anyhow. This guy sabotaged and rigged his way uh, into office. Back to this uh, particular Pakistani. The caretaker government at Pakistan's election commission have rejected have rejected the allegation that say the country has laws and system to investigate specific uh, uh, complaints. A senior Pakistani politician, Havis Naim or Rahman, who won provi provincial elections in the commercial hub of Karachi, Pakistan, has given up his seat, saying the vote was rigged in his favor. Pakistan voted in national and provincial election on February 8th, but the polls were marred by accusation of rigging, 
uh, to defeat independent candidates backed by jailed ex-Prime Minister Imran Khan, Reuters report. The caretaker government and Pakistan's election commission have rejected the allegation and said the country has laws and systems to investigate specific complaints. Rahman of the Islamist Jamaat al Islami party was declared the winner of provincial seat 129 in Karachi after securing more than 26,000 votes. Ben Rahman said he discovered that votes cast for Khan's Pakistan Tehrik in South PTI party-backed independent candidates were reduced to 11,000 from 31,000. Can you imagine? From 31,000, they reduced the, the other one's votes to 11,000, where records of votes are polled at individual polling needs were tabulated. And this man, even though he's the one that has been declared winner, he has found out that, no, he's not. So because of that, he's not going to he said he's not, he's not accepting this seat. That's what uh, 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 this thing should be about. That's what integrity should be about. That's what process should be about. Don't just say that, oh, because you uh, you won the, the end result, so it doesn't matter. Uh, share you won. No, it, it's not about share you won. How did you come in? Was it free, fair, credible election? Was that how you came in? Or there were some things that went on. I remember when... Um, uh, Umar Yara do I won at the election. Which one was that again? I think that was the 2007 election. If I'm not mistaken, Yara was the 2007 election at presidential level. When he came in, he, he did accept, he accepted the fact that the election that brought him was flawed and that he was going to do, put in things uh, to, to ensure that, uh, you know, that doesn't happen again. And then he set up a particular uh, body... Uh, I think that's the always always uh, body this thing that was set up panel the always panel that was set up to look into election matters and, and be able to bring out the solutions are way forward. I think that's yeah. I think that's the waste report. If I'm wrong, if I'm not mistaken, but please correct me uh, if I'm wrong. Yes, like some people, I should have recited. I didn't know I was going to say this. So when I was doing this video, but sometimes these things uh, just just, just uh, come up. And so that's what integrity is. It's all about. It's not to just say that oh, I'm going to have, have won and all of that. We must be. We must be very careful about the system, about process and 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 things like that. And that's one thing I've realized that many people. Do not respect process. They don't understand process. They just feel that in Nigeria, eh, you can break the law now. Or eh, you can do it, you can do short court. And eh, just do it like that. And it doesn't matter. No, it does matter. I've seen it a lot. Right now, people don't understand process. When you're telling them A and B and C have to happen for D to take place, they'll be telling you, eh, as long as A has happened, now forget B and C. No, you can't forget B and C. In the process of the way things are, you have to follow until A, B, and C happen. D is not going to take place. And if you want that D to take Take this, then you must make sure A, B, and C happen. If you see alone that happens, or B and C that happen, or A and B or A, C, it won't happen. But anyway, <sighs> Nigeria is our country. We can't give up. We will not give up. Good must be multinational than evil, and we'll keep going. Thank you for watching.